Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Saeed Ali Madan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will learn how we can evaluate attitude dependent triangles. For this purpose, we will learn exercise 15.5, question number 19. Before start solving this question, we must know some terminologies about triple triangles. In triple triangles, we have to deal with three integrals with respect to three variables. The variable which is written in the most inner side with the differential is called inner variable. Then the variable which is written in the center is with D is called central variable. And the variable which is written in the most outer side with D is called outer variable. Here dx, dt, and dv are the differentials. In the process of integration, we will always draw integration with respect to most inner variable. Here the inner variable is x and the limits of x are minus infinity to 2t. Then after integrating the function with respect to most inner variable, we will apply rule of integration with respect to central variable. Here the central variable is t whose limits are 0 to natural log of secant of v. And then on the outcomes of integration of central variable, we will apply rules of integration with respect to most outer variable. Here the outer variable is v whose limits are 0 to pi by 4. As we have to solve this integral, we will start our process of integration from x and we will move towards t. As it is an iterative process, that's why it is called triple iterative integral. Before start solving this question, we, we need to know two more things. Number one, the integration of exponential function is exponential function itself, provided that we have derivative of its power available as a multiplier in the integrand. And e raised to power minus infinity is calculated as 1 over e raised to power infinity. e raised to power infinity is infinity. So 1 over infinity is 0. We need to these two things in this question in the first part. Now, the integration of e raised to power x is e raised to power x for the limits minus infinity to 2t. In the next step, we will apply the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. The answer of e raised to power minus infinity is 0. We have calculated here. So we are left with e raised to power 2t and it completes the process of integration with respect to most inner variable. In the next step, we will perform the integration of e raised to power 2t with respect to t, which is our central variable. Applying the same concept, we need the derivative of a power, its multiplier. So I have multiplied with 2 and divided 2. Now I can perform the integration of e raised to power 2t into 2 as e raised to power 2t for the limits 0 to natural log of secant of v. In the next step, applying the fundamental theorem of calculus, we can evaluate the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. For upper limit, I have replaced t with natural log of secant of v. And for lower limit, I have replaced v with t with 0. Now making a simplification, by using the properties of natural log, I can shift these two as the power of secant. In the next end, e raised to power 0 is 1. Natural log and e are the reciprocal of each other. They will cancel each other. And I am left with secant square of v minus 1. And this completes the process of integration with respect to our central variable, which is t. In the next step, I will apply rule of integration with respect to v. The integration of secant square of v is tan of v. And integration of 1 will be v. In the next step, after integration, applying fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. For upper limit, I have placed v with pi by 4 in each term. And for lower limit, I have placed v with 0 in each term. Now the tan pi by 4 is 1. And tan 0 is 0. So second bracket becomes 0. And I am left with 1 over 2 into 1 minus pi by 4. If I, if I can multiply with 1 by 2 to open up the brackets, I have 1 by 2 minus pi by 8. I hope you understand this question. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this content with your fellows. Allah Hafiz.